All right, guys, we're back now. We just got done installing the camera, and now we are gonna do the receiver install. Now, there's a couple different ways people like to do this. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use, let me see if I have it here. I'm gonna use some double-sided tape, um, but you can use, uh, um, you can use a zip tie, and I think we're including the double-sided tape with your kit anyway, uh, but if you don't have any, um, it's okay. You can use a zip tie. I know we're gonna send you a couple of those. Here's the one I'm gonna use right here. What we wanna do is we're gonna lift our wire up here, our XT30 wire, and right where this, in the back of the drone where we have this uh, section here, we're gonna put our double-sided tape right in the center of that, okay? Just like, let me do, try to do a little bit better centered here. Just like this. All right, there we go. And then we are going to take, I'm going to peel off the bottom layer of this or the top layer of this so I can stick my receiver to it, just like that. And if you don't have double-sided tape or there's not with your kit, that's okay. You can actually just uh, zip tie the receiver down to the frame itself because this uh, protective layer should be on there. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our wire here this is the uh, power ground and uh, signal wire, and we're gonna send it through the middle of the uh, XT30 cable right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the antenna wires are facing out the back, and there's a bind button. On this particular one, there's a bind button, but on all of them, there's gonna be a bind button out here. We wanna make sure the bind button is on the top, facing up so you can get to it, and the antenna wires are facing the back, just like this, all right? Next, what we're gonna do is we will take our zip tie, just to secure this in place, especially if you're not using double-sided tape. And we're gonna go through these two slots on the bottom, right here, in front of this pad. We're gonna go around, just like that. And we are going to zip tie this, but do not put the, make sure you don't have the XT30 wire in there, and make sure you're not zip tying over your bind button, okay, because you don't want it to press. And there you go. So now we're gonna cut that zip tie, cut it just like this, okay? And now we've got our receiver here, We've got our receiver wires, uh, and we are now gonna take our receiver wire here, and we are going to plug it in to our receiver cable. It should plug in perfectly, just like this. And we are going to basically lay, twist those together, and then just kind of lay them down here, just like that, and keep those out of the way, all right? And I can see that by moving this, my camera came off, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on. Uh, let me see, my orientation here is going to be like this. So if your camera does come off, don't worry about it. That's why we keep it loose here, so you can snap it back in place. Let me just go ahead and put mine back in place, just like that. Make sure your wires are out of the way. And there we go, all right? So we have all our wires now out of the way, just like this. And we could, we'll, we'll tighten all these up as we do it once we close this, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna leave this just like this, and we're gonna come in here in just a second and clean up all the wires, but we wanna make sure we have a receiver down, we have a receiver plugged into the receiver plug that was right here, our camera's still plugged in and everything's good to go. So the next set we're gonna do is just clean everything up and get it ready to put the top back on it, add our antenna, and get ready to fasten down these antennas on our receiver. We'll be back in just a second. 